How's it going everyone? I'm Laserk and in today's video I wanted to show you how to choose the right SSD disk for your PlayStation 5 and then how to install it. Now if you have an SSD disk already, you've purchased one and you just want to see how to make the installation process, you can skip to part 2 and all the timestamps are below in the video description. But let's start with choosing the right SSD disk in the first place. There are a couple of things to consider before buying a disk, but Sony was kind enough to put all the details on their website, which you can see right here. Um, the most important thing is that the disk should be M.2 standard and compatible with PCIe 4.0, so like the latest, newest standard available. This is because of the performance required by the disk. And by the way, when you're choosing the SSD disk, Apart from the M.2 and PCIe 4.0, you also have to remember that the performance of the disk, the read speed, should be at least 5500 megabits per second. The console will accept the lower speed, however, you might encounter performance issues and the console also will warn you that if you install a slower disk, you might run into issues and then you should be um, you should move the game from your spare drive to your main drive that's included in the console when you buy it. That way you can avoid the performance issues. If all of this is too much for you and you still don't really understand how to choose the disk, don't worry, there are links in the video description that will take you to the right page and will help you choose the, the right disk. Uh, you don't have to buy from, from the links that I provided below, you can just find it in your local stores, but the models are there. Now just to sum it up really quickly, you need to remember about three things. First thing, the disk has to be M.2, not SATA M.2. PCIe 4.0, the disk has to be at least 250 gigabytes in size and it should have at least 5500 megabits per second read speed. One more thing I didn't mention, SSD disks come in two variants, with or without a heatsink. Now, I would personally go for a version with a heatsink because I don't want to run into any thermal performance issues. But if you picked up a version without a heatsink and you run into any trouble, that's not a problem. You can always pick an aftermarket heatsink. I'll link a couple of them in the video description below. And now that we have that covered, let's move on to the installation part. So when it comes to the installation of the disk, you don't need much. You basically need a screwdriver, a cross screwdriver like this one will do. And of course, your disk. Now let me move this away because we need to open the console now which I think is arguably the most difficult thing to do right now. Okay, so I suggest you put your console like this with the logo facing up and you note where the logo is. So it's like on the video on the bottom side. I'm going to turn the console the other way. Like this. And now in order to open it, you need to grab this corner. So the opposite where the logo was over here towards the back of the console. This is the back of the console where you plug your USB devices. You need to grab it firmly. Like this. It takes some practice to do it perfectly. I'm sure you'll do just fine. Okay. We're going to install the disk over here. This is the cover of the SSD bay. So now we take our screwdriver and we unscrew it. Okay, now remove the cover, place it somewhere close because you're going to need it in a second. Inside you will find another screw that we need to take out, it's over here, so let me do just that. I'm going to also place it very close, don't lose it. It's very important. Inside you'll find another thing. It's like a distancing element so that your disc can rest on something. You need to take that out and you can already pull it where your disc will end. So you can do it like this, just insert the disc like that, check where it ends, ends at 80, put it at 80. Just here. And now install the disc. You install it by inserting it under like a slight angle like that when you know it's in there when you know it's in there you just press down and use the smaller screw to attach the disc
and then and then you just basically repeat all the steps that we did attach everything including the cover by the way if you have a disc that's slightly too big i don't think that's an issue if you are not able to put that cover in doesn't do much anyway but just you know just to be safe make sure to pick the disc with the right size so after the cover is attached we need to install the console's cover remember to align it with the holes so this should be facing upwards towards the fan just put it down align it gently and then you need to give it a firm push you will need to hear this click uh, because if you don't and you try to pick up the console it might fall apart it just the click tells you that the chassis is firmly in place now all you have to do is to connect your console to your tv or your monitor power it on and the console will ask you to format the disk of course you agree the format is very quick and after that the console will also give you the information about the read speeds of your disk okay thank you very much for watching i'm laser and i hope you found this video helpful if you did consider subscribing to the channel for more similar content like this. Thank you very much and I'll see you soon.